Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is writer and broadcaster Billy Kay. Thank you, presiding officer, for giving me this honour of addressing the national parliament. I'd like to start with a Ken Speckle quote from Hugh McDermott, one of the skilliest markers in Scots literature's thousand-year history. To be yourselves and to make that worth being, no harder job to mortals has been given. It's maybe even harder for MSPs, for you can't just be yourself for yourselves, but for all the cells, all the souls, all the brother and sister Scots, the maiden Kirk, the Johnny Groves and a yont that you represent. Among whilk, there's our one and a half million Scots speakers. News the day and news the hour. To rack suit and bring their words, scrive it in the walls outside of the Parliament, into the heart of this chomer. Words perfect for debate, like spear, inquire, threep, assert, jalouse, suspect, tack tent, take care, or it's tint, it's lost. Or, when you don't want to be douce, you can hear flighting, for it's a lead hoaching with gleg insults, glake it, gawk it, gawk. In Dane say, you will raise the international profile of this year with words for Fremit leads that touch us home. French suffice, dinner fash yourself, Dutch hunkers, Scandinavian lugs, and Latin dispone. You will be howking as wheel for a gowd and seam in your own party's histories. McDermott was a founding father of the National Party. Fellow Macker, Cunningham Graham, and his friend Keir Hardy the Labour Party. The chill who first defined our democratic intellect was the Conservative Walter Elliott. The Liberal Gladstone was originally Gled Stain, Gled being Scots for the bird of prey, the kite, Gledstone, and the Greens. The Greens are thrilled to our I Biden land, where Scots words like smir, calor, har, or gloaming seem to arise out the yard itself and hod our hearts. But, more important than thone, you will give a signal to the wains in the skill that the culture of their home is valued by folk elected by their mothers and fathers. Bairns, like the quiet wee lass in primary twa in Falkirk, were ran and louped into her teacher's arms, laughing and greeting with joy when she first heard her mother tongue in class. Or the sweet learners in Dundee, dour teenage boys, who gave to the tap of the class for the very first time when the language they used ilk a day come into the skill in books they then devoured and never look it back. Scottish wains transformed learning a Scottish lead, a nation where nobody's excluded and nobody kens that they belong. Surely, dear members of the Scottish Parliament, those will worth being yourself for. Thank you. <laughs> 